Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick little video to show you uh, an upgrade you can do easily at your house with your hotspot if you have a Pi hotspot. This is a Pi Zero hotspot. This is the original Pi Zero. This sucker is, I don't know, elderly. I'd guess probably 2015, maybe, maybe older. And on top is the, this is the MMDVM board right here. This is what does the radio to internet translation. This is the gateway, technically. And so this is a standard connector set on this thing, and I'm gonna pull it off. The problem with the Pi Zero is that it's old. It is not got a lot of juice. Pi Star application may work, but the web interface doesn't work. And then if you need to change anything or you wanna look at the dashboard, you can't. You got a power cycle, then it'll work for a little while, then it'll die again. And I'm getting tired of that. So I'm gonna upgrade mine. And um, after the upgrade, I won't have to change out anything. I'm gonna use this same SD card. I'm not gonna reformat it. I'm just gonna pop it in the new replacement Pi. So let's take him out and set him aside. This is, as I said, the MMDVM board. We're gonna keep him. I'm not gonna throw this away. This is a Raspberry Pi Zero that boots up. So we're, but we're gonna save him because I'm a, I'm a little bit of a hoarder and I'm gonna push him out of the way for now. And what I'm gonna replace him with is a plug compatible Raspberry Pi Zero 2W. I bought them from Chicago Electronics Distributors and I'll put a link in the description down below. And I've had them for a couple months and this was one of the projects I wanted to do with it. The issue we have, it's not really an issue, it doesn't have header pins on it. So I've got some header pins and I'm gonna solder header pins on this and we're gonna make it plug compatible with the old one so those pins match up. And then it's just a matter of putting this board back on this thing, sticking the SD card in, and then I have a functional hotspot running on a much, much faster Raspberry Pi. Um, you know, we've been talking in Toads and on Ham Nuggets and on Coffee and Ham Radio and on my channel and on TO's channel about digital voice modes. And, and Ape's done videos on this. And so once that's done, this will run about as fast as a Raspberry Pi 3B. So it's, this is faster than the original Pi Zero, obviously faster than a Pi One or Two or the original Three. This runs about 3B speed. And the beauty of this compared to a 3B is this has onboard Wi-Fi and onboard Bluetooth if you needed either one of those. It has the uh, mid-sized HDMI connector, it has power, and it has a connector for using an OTG adapter to break it out into more USB ports if you needed real USB ports. The one thing it doesn't have is a wired network connection. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put this sucker in uh, some clips and solder us in some header connectors. Okay, so I've got our little headers cut to match these. Both sides, there are five pins in two rows. So that's what it, uh, exactly what I'm gonna reproduce on this. I did one of these the other day and I replaced both rows of header pins and down the road I may or may not use them. I don't think I have enough header pins to do that, but I have enough to do this. So that's what I'm doing with this one. So we're gonna get this mounted up and I'm gonna tack these in on the back side and then finish soldering them. All right, so we got this guy, we got those header pins soldered in. And that's about all there is to this little operation. So all I'm gonna do, and I'm not gonna put it on the video, y'all seen a computer boot up. I've got this, there we go. I've got those pins soldered in there. And then all we have to do on this thing is make this up to the hat, the MMDVM hat. And that is it. I'm gonna use the exact same card and once I remember where the card slot is, give him five volts of USB power through a micro adapter and I have a brand new hotspot. The board, the Pi board cost me $15 plus $5 shipping, which is probably uh, about uh, $4 more than shipping is worth on this thing. Cause basically they could have put it in a puffy envelope for a buck and a half, but uh, there it is. So now I've got uh, a refurbished hotspot that will run the current version of Pi Star software and do any of the fancy stuff that I may or may not want to do 
with Pi Star. Guys, that's all I've got for this video. Thanks for watching. If you would, give me a thumbs up. If you like this content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And make sure you've rung that bell so you get notified whenever I publish any new videos. Appreciate it. 73, y'all.